Hello students. Welcome to the concept to stagger tuned amplifier. Coming to the introduction part of the stagger tuned amplifier. If two or more tuned circuits are cascaded and tuned to the same frequency, it is called the synchronous tuning. We already know about this in single tuned amplifier. Okay, in the multi-stage amplifier consisting of many single stages, all the amplifiers are tuned to the same frequency. All the amplifiers are cascaded and the tuned circuits of all those single stage amplifiers are tuned to the same frequency. So what will happen? Overall bandwidth gets reduced. That concept is called synchronous tuning. On the other hand, if the tuned circuits are cascaded and they are tuned to different frequencies, then it is possible to have increased bandwidth with more desirable characteristics that is flat pass band with steeper sides. This technique is called stagger tuning. Yes, tell me what is stagger tuning? Yes, all the cascaded stages are through the cascaded tuned amplifier. It consists of many single tuned amplifiers. In the stagger tuning concept, every tuned circuit is tuned to different frequencies. Then what will happen? And that results increased bandwidth, okay, increased bandwidth and also flat pass band with the steeper sides. Okay, that concept is called stagger tuning. So a stagger tuned amplifier is a multi-stage tuned amplifier where each stage is tuned to a slightly different frequency and it provides a wider and flatter frequency response compared to single tuned amplifiers. Actually to get more bandwidth we have double tuned amplifiers. We know the double tuned amplifier consists of two tuned circuits in the same amplifier circuit and the two tuned circuits are tuned to the same frequency and the double tuned amplifier is for higher bandwidth. We already know it. But what is the drawback of double tuned amplifier? Yes, that alignment is difficult. Maintaining two tuned circuits at the output is difficult and tuning to the same frequency is also difficult. Hence, to get more bandwidth or to have more bandwidth, stagger tuned amplifiers so are preferred. Now, what is the principle of stagger tuning? Each amplifier stage is tuned to a different but close resonant frequency. And then the combined output results in a broader and flatter frequency response. The response curves of each stage overlap to enhance bandwidth. We will see all these things in the frequency response. Coming to the circuit diagram of a stagger tuned amplifier. So this is a circuit diagram of a two stage stagger tuned voltage amplifier. If you observe carefully, each stage is a single tuned circuit and the, these two stages are coupled with a capacitor. Okay, here each circuit is tuned to its resonant frequency, fine. And those resonant frequencies of the two tuned circuits are so adjusted that they are separated by an amount equal to the bandwidth of each stage. Okay, so this is uh, tuned to some resonance frequency FR1. Okay, and this is tuned to some resonant frequency FR2. The difference between these two is equal to bandwidth of each stage. Okay, now. Another point is stagger tuned amplifiers are usually designed so that the overall response exhibits maximum flatness around the center frequency F0. Okay, I'll show you the frequency response. Because of stagger tuning, there exists a loss of voltage gain. These are all very, very important points. If the stagger tuned amplifier consists of many tuned circuits, then automatically you will get flatter pass band and steeper sides. Okay. Then the overall frequency response of a stagger tune amplifier is obtained by adding individual responses together. Since the resonant frequencies of different tune circuits are displaced or staggered, 
This is referred to as Stagger Tune Amplifier. These are all the points related to the circuit diagram. Now, very very important point, the frequency response. Yes, individual stages have narrow peaks at their tune frequency. See this first graph, response of individual tune amplifiers. This is the response of first one, okay, and this is the response of the second one. Yes, this is the maximum relative gain as one. Then this is a point seven zero seven. Uh, so what will happen? This will be this this separation will be the bandwidth, the delta one. Delta one is the bandwidth. Okay. So if you observe this, I already told. Uh, the free, what is this frequency? This frequency is FR1 and this frequency is FR2. And I already told you the separation between these two resonant frequencies must be equal to bandwidth of each stage. What is the bandwidth here? Delta 1. So, this, so what is the separation between these two? Yes, the separation between these two is, yes, from this to this it is delta 1 by 2 and from this to this it is delta 1 by 2. So, totally, so overall it is delta 1. Okay, so this is the response of individual tune amplifier. Then, what is the overall response of staggered tune amplifier? This is the overall response of staggered tune amplifier. For the staggered tune amplifier, the bandwidth is root 2 times of the bandwidth of each individual stage. So, what is happening? The bandwidth gets increased. And if you observe this response peak, the peak is flat. Fine. And what about this F0? F0 is the center frequency. See this. When these responses are overlapped like this, the overlap at a frequency called F0, exactly the F0 is the center frequency of the overall response of staggered tune amplifier. Okay, now, if you club these two graphs, see this graph. See, these are single tune amplifiers, single tune stages. And this response is staggered tune pair. Yes, this is not uh, synchronous. This is staggered tune. Okay, so these are all the individual stages and they are overlapped. And the staggered tune amplifier response is this. The amplitude is less than the original, remember. Remember, this is the comparison graph. Individually, these are the graphs. Plot the responses on the same graph. Voltage gain of the staggered tuned pair is very less compared to the voltage gain of the single tuned stages. Coming to the advantages and disadvantages and applications of the staggered tuned amplifier. The main advantage is staggered tuned amplifiers are for increased bandwidth. They will give increased bandwidth. And the drawback is reduced selectivity and critical tuning of many time circuits. And coming to the applications. Staggered tune amplifiers are used as intermediate stages in radios and TVs, are used in communication receivers and RF amplifiers, also used in signal processing and in narrowband communication systems. Okay, so thank you very much. This is about staggered tune amplifier.